Hello everyone, Thijs here again, and this time I want to show you another guide. Um, before uh, the League of Explorer uh, third set will get out, um, I decided to try to get to Legend really fast with a, with a deck. As uh, this video is made, it's the third day of the season, and as you see, I'm already Legend. There are around 50 Legends at the moment, but uh, I was able, because I had a pretty high win rate, to take the number 2 spot on the Legend rank. And the deck I did it with is Aggro Druid. And now I'm gonna explain you a bit why, um, what is the power of Aggro Druid and why did it so well for me the first days on the ladder. Um, Aggro Druid is one of the decks that has just a really good matchup against um, Paladin and Aggro decks in general. As you see, we have already some, uh, we have a lot of early drops, so uh, we are kinda an aggressive deck too. Uh, but because the Druid has so many good answers too, with the Innervate, like you can you can make so many power plays in the early state of the game where you can abuse your uh, mana crystals uh, way better than your opponent. Sometimes you just has a, have a really good start against an aggro deck and if an aggro deck falls behind in the early game, it's really hard to come back and that is where aggro Druid really shines. At the moment, on their ladder, a lot of Paladin, a lot of aggro Druid through, a lot of aggro Druid too. But a lot of Paladin, uh, a lot of Tempo Mages, a lot of Hunters, and these are the good matchups for Aggro Druid. And uh, what is the, like, how do you play this deck is another question. Uh, what you do is, um, besides that you are, of course, really looking for early drops, uh, you still have some uh, win condition in the mid to late game. You see that I really love to uh, run double combo. Some people, some people don't really like to run double force or double combo. I think it, it is just way too good to uh, pass up. I think you should always play this deck with double combo. And, but you also have another win condition and that is the Fell Reaver. And this card especially shines uh, in some specific matchups against the Secret Paladin and the Mirror. If you can play this guy at turn 2 um, and you know your opponent really likely doesn't have an answer. It's so powerful. They either gonna trade two or three cards into the into the Fell Reaver, and ignoring the Fell Reaver is just not an option for these decks because then they take eight or sixteen damage, and that is just way too much. Like they can discard a lot of your deck, but we are winning the game before our wall deck is gone, or we still have cards in hand, and normally we are totally fine in that spot. Uh, you see, running just powerful minion, Darnassus is actually really good in this deck. Um, it's an early drop, it still makes uh, your curve a bit better. Um, it's not like an aggro deck, you see like, a lot of aggro decks don't have any late game. You see we are like a way more uh, tempo deck, we curve way better out. So uh, having some late game is still good. So yeah, uh, the last two days I played this on ladder, I went from rank 16, because the ladder resets. I went from rank 16 to rank 2, uh, almost all, a bit with Paladin, but almost all with Aggro Druid. I had a 70% win rate over the last, um, over 80 games. So um, yeah, I think the deck is really good and I want to show you some power of the deck. And maybe we can even get rank 1. I think it might be super hard because uh, we probably need a lot of wins for it. But um, we gotta see. Yeah, for the, uh, the early thing is, what are you looking for? You're looking for your Innovate, you're looking for your Danassus. And a bit depending on that, um, what, uh, what curves are well together with them. Sometimes you really want um, your minions, but some specific classes... I mean, I Mulligan uh, Knife Juggler away, for example, against Hunter or against Paladin. Because in my opinion, Knife Juggler trades really bad into them. Okay, we play immediately the worst matchup, guys. Warrior. That is like the only matchup you really don't want. It's really hard, this matchup. You really have to be aggressive and you just have to hope that uh, it's gonna be enough. Oh yeah, this is gonna be hard. Um, I think Shredder is like one of the winning cards. If we have only early game, we are not gonna win against uh, Warrior. So I really wanna just have a uh, good curve. Oh, this makes it even better. Uh, we can also gamble for him not having the War Axe, and then we can coin out the Darnassus. I think because, um, and this is something uh, you have to keep uh, in consideration in every matchup. If you think you have a bad matchup, you have to take uh, risks. I think this matchup is really bad, 
Um, I think if I'm gonna play around Fiery Warrex, I will never win. Or I will lose a lot of win percentage. So I think I just go for the Nasus. Just hope he doesn't have the Warrex. Seems we were not right, guys. Seems he had it, sadly enough. And like this is already so powerful for him. Uh, because it even blocks our turn here. I either play off curve here. I cannot really play off curve, right? He's not gonna attack, he just plays his minion. Yeah, I think I have to go knife to here just. I could also consider passing turn here and turn three knife to living roots. But there is the possibility that we top deck something that we wanna play next turn. Okay, it doesn't even want to take the damage anymore, so it took a card, but it's pretty fine for us. Um, yeah, we just play uh, everything we can. Living Roots, a lot of times you just want to make the two tokens. Um, if you think they can deal more damage over time than the two damage that it does normally, it's good. Okay, has to crop Taskmaster here. Yeah, I think we're gonna kill this Cruel Taskmaster because otherwise it kills off our tokens. Uh, we play against the Control Warrior because I saw the bash. I'm actually getting uh, super scared already. Like, he's still at 30 lives at turn 4. That's like the last thing you want against Warrior with an aggro deck. Okay. Decides to, t uh, to take one token out? No, not. Uh, he might have Brawl, but... Guys, I don't know how you win these matchups if you play around all this stuff. Um, yeah, I think I'm not gonna respect any brawl here. It's pretty likely he has it in my opinion, but uh, I cannot play around it. Hmm. Doesn't have it. So yeah, he has the despite and it's gonna clear all the board because it's a one health tokens. Oh, and there is the shredder placement, guys. Did you saw the shredder placement? Yeah, Innervate, not what we are looking for now. So where do we place the Shredder? He's really likely gonna attack here, right? Or maybe not, maybe... Nah, he's gonna attack that. Yeah, I think he's gonna kill this uh, flame totem to not take more damage. He's gonna shield slam first. But you can do that afterwards. You can see what. Well, you want to see what comes out before, maybe. It doesn't really matter. So let's hope we just get a decent minion. That's like. Doesn't make me. Doesn't make me super happy. I mean, coins are not really valuable for us at the moment. Um, at this moment, we are kind of all in, so we really want to charge up the Druid of the Claw. Every damage counts, but I mean, if we draw some combo pieces, I, you know that there is still double combo in the deck left. The deck doesn't run card draw, and that is the thing that hurts you sometimes. But um, yeah. Yeah, and this Innervate is, of course, not doing much here. He didn't have the shields in the last turn, right? Or, oh, he kept it. Wow. Pretty ballsy. Yeah, that is like a really bad draw. Um, I mean, we have so many mana crystals we can play with, so getting a one drop is really sad. Um, gonna get another coin. So we can swipe here, but every card we're gonna draw is something we can play. The most expensive card is Boom. But we can even make, we can even still hero power with that. 
if we draw boom we can boom swipe and even double coin out our hero power so I don't think that's bad I think we shall pass turn here it's gonna brawl I mean brawl is it's gonna remove four damage from the board or five probably four I uh, used already double shield slam, right? Okay, he's gonna take it out with the weapon. He called the uh, armor up afterwards. I mean, if he draws top deck's Alex, top deck uh, s uh, force of nature's lethal here. That it does. That's not lethal, but it's a good amount of damage that we put out here. Um, yeah. I don't see the reason to swipe because I still uh, think even if he top decks Alex. Uh, we have some reach to get out of the game. Okay, now things are getting super scared. He's at 9 HP. There are a lot of top decks. And Druid of the Claw. A second swipe. A force of nature. Not in shade. I think I don't even kill this. Uh, I think I don't even kill um, the Grom. So we even get more outs now. If he doesn't uh, armor up too much. Oh, a taunt. Taunt is something we don't really like. And there is the force, but is it too late now? If we swipe the face... We gonna... Then we have... Then we can do more damage. Yeah, I, I just have to do it here, right? It's like this is the more opti the most optimal way. Wait a second, I can also swipe here and take the hero power, uh, he goes to, and then I have 4 that I can deal into the face, that is 4, 7, 4, 7, hmm. if I swipe the face, I have 4 in, I have also 7 in, so it doesn't matter, even have one more, I even have one more. Do this first because the belt is just gonna take some time. We are here really all in here, but um, yeah, we are getting more outs, guys. Um, they're just getting more outs here. Uh, he has to clear the shade. Um, Keeper is not enough, but an, uh, just a three damage card is enough now. We have a force left. We have a savage roar left. We but savage roar it doesn't do it. It's two. Uh, we have a swipe left, we have a druid of the claw left, there are a lot of outs here. So we gotta hope guys, he even had to trade this Grom there. Hey, come on! <laughs> it's so close guys, it's so close. So now even, um, even two damage is enough, so we even getting more outs here. And second keeper, um, uh, two salvage raws are out, force of nature is out. Oh, he has a taunt, so this limited our options, actually. Oh, that's so bad for him. Um, <laughs> it's unbelievable, guys. It's unbelievable. It's so, uh, oh man, it's like, we either don't, we don't draw the card we need, or he draws the cards that he needs to block our turn, it's uh, super annoying. So, um, oh, now the game is almost over. If we don't, now we have to just draw a combo in two turns, we have to draw the combo together. We draw a uh, Force of Nature, Roar, Reaver doesn't do it here, I think. Reaver will be nice, a bit some time ago but doesn't really do it here yeah now i'm pretty sure the game is over um he has already 18 in hand also right yeah, let's see. That belongs to the museum. Yeah, now we are totally uh, oh, and the combo even gone the second force is gone so uh here the game is over well you saw i already uh, explained it is the worst matchup warrior it's a uh, control heavy deck we cannot 
10, 11, 40, and he has lethal. I can see. So yeah, the drawing the inner fate was really sad, and we really needed that one damage, guys. That one damage we were off. So um, yeah, the, uh, going to rank four, but um, we're gonna continue. I wanna uh, show you the power of the deck. Uh, there is just one really bad matchup. What is the, what is the warrior? So we just hope we just hope that we get something else than a warrior. You know, I can promise you this deck is really good against. Um, it's really good. Just against the paladin. It's really good against tempo mage. It's really good against um, hunters. It's okay against rogues. And these are the decks I faced all the time. And when this new season starts, uh, normally you face the more aggressive style of decks. Or the mid-range decks. You see here how long it takes for us to take a game. Uh, not many legends yet. There are around 50 legends on the ladder at the moment. So... Um Guess we got a game. Oh, Warlock. I don't want to face Warlocks. The Warlocks are on the ladder are mostly Reno decks. And you can understand that Reno decks are pretty good against this deck. So, um, yeah, we are facing the hard matchups here with Warrior and Warlock. But let's see what we can make out of it. Uh, keeping the liver groups because it's a one drop. Yeah, it's a really expensive hand we have. We really have to draw a uh, two drop. So yeah, uh, the, this deck is. It's meh against Zoo. It's not really good against Zoo. You need a uh, power play against Zoo to win that matchup. It's a, and but it's okay. Zoo is okay. Uh, the other more control versions of Warlock are most of the time really painful. They have a lot of uh, big taunts. They have heals. They have a good curve even. So uh, normally that it gets uh, pretty painful. Okay, Mortal Call says already that it's. It's most likely a Reno deck or a more control heavy deck. Yeah, this is... We are drawing really poorly, guys. You know how much early game we have in the deck. So not getting anything here really hurts us. He takes his time. Probably gonna see a Petler here. Dark Petler is a card that really fits a lot of the Warlock versions at the moment. It's a really powerful card. Okay, at least we get something. This will be the dream last turn because it will um, curve us out into an uh, 4 drop. But will of course be really good. So he has 9 cards now. Cannot really tap. Uh, probably gonna see an either an 4 drop. Um, or just... Um, Something on three on the curve. Coining out something. Might be a Twilight Drake if it isn't more in hand lock. Implosion. Hitting the four. Ooh. I don't even know if that's good here. Because we don't do much ourselves. Might be that uh, Pilot Shredder is still the play here. Like he has to, he probably trades kind of bad into the Shredder. I don't think Swipe is really the play here. Because it leaves us up with still a weak board. So I'm just going, going to go ahead with the uh, Shredder. I think I attack face here. He's going to make the trade for me. If he Argus us, I will probably still Swipe. So that's not a problem. Okay, play, uh, draws the Peddler here. Peddler gives him a lot of options, like an Abusive Surgeon here. If he gets something like that, it's pretty good. Uh, has the all, so uh, it's gonna trade his uh, minions in, I guess. 
So yeah, you see he makes the trades. It's kind of annoying because he trades his wall board away. But what we would have done with the swipe was leaving a 1-1 one, 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 one up. But it's of course not really powerful. You really have to play curve here. He's had a really uh, strong life total still. But it's a really big problem for us. We really have to draw our late game a bit in this match now. There's... Okay. So, yeah, swipe does not good here, shades, we can't do anything more, uh, with this we make sure that we kill the token, it was a pretty smart trade from him to trade the all into our minion actually, I have to say. So yeah, taking out here, and uh, yeah, boom has to do a lot of work for us guys, boom has to do a lot of work. Place a dark on PO oh, Hellfire. That's uh, uh, kind of expensive. So, um, oh, had the Void Walker from the Peddler. What well, is pretty good? Even the Zombie Chow. So he really creates his board here. Um, yeah, Fell Reaver not the turn here because mana wise it's not really efficient. Even the Boom Bots are not doing which it, it might kill these minions off or it might be a bit annoying for him. We also can see if he has the BGH. If he plays the BGH here. It's good for him, but then we know that he doesn't have the BGH for the Reaver. We are facing a Reno deck here, so there's only one Your of each minion. Makes the silence here, okay. Ooh, it's gonna take uh, some kind of risks here. So yeah, actually, uh, we have a lot of damage here now on the board. Uh, with the 7, that will go to the face for sure. Yeah, if we swipe face here, and then we, yeah. We swipe face, because if we swipe the um, Spellbreaker, we lose one damage into the Spellbreaker. What is super important is with this deck is to uh, deal all the damage that you can. It's You don't care if you take a bit more damage. The thing is, what is important is that you deal more damage. So now we put him at 8, and um, yeah, that's a really hard life total for him. He really has to put uh, up his. Uh, if he has the, if he has the Reno Jackson, it's gonna be played here for sure. He cannot get away by not playing Reno here. At eight lives against an uh, aggressive, uh, I guess ag aggressive Drew deck, you even expect combo at turn nine. We are gonna see Reno if he has it, and there is Reno. Super sad for us, but um, yeah, we gotta start a new game, guys. Back to thirty. Okay, getting the roar here is not a bad card. Um, so now we have to decide where what can we play around I think trading is really expensive here I think we really have to hit face now so that's what we do uh, he might get a good shadow flame off uh, but there are still two minions I mean it's he has to pay four mana he has five mana to do oh Ooh, that's really good for us that's really good for us that called go that called go way worse guys that called go way worse we discarded three cards that are that are not really powerful in the late game anymore so that's also nice more likely that we can draw now in, into some big minions did he draw the bgh that will be really sad he had, didn't have the bgh for boom so Okay, ooh, force, oh, a wall combo gone. That really sucks. That really sucks. And he has the Shadow Flame, so... Oh, and the second force gone, guys. That is actually problematic. So this is the this is what we have to do with it. Oh, this actually... So we have 12. 12 plus 6 plus 7. It's not lethal yet, but it's a lot of damage. And, like, the reach that we have left in the deck is not as big anymore. So all the damage that we can do is super important. Uh, we put them here at 2, but it's a really nice life total because he cannot tap anymore too. Um, he played Reno already. Uh, the card that might be still in, in his deck or in his hand is an heal bot. Besides that, maybe an Earthen Ring, but that's really it what they run for heal. 
Oh, he actually has it. Oh, man. He's making a really hard game here for us. So we discard even more cards. Five cards left now. Drew the BGH also. So it's even a full clear for him. And I think that we are now almost cannot win the game anymore. With two cards left, we have to deal 10 damage. Knife Juggler is not one of them. So, uh, yeah. Actually, uh, kind of a sad situation here for us, guys. And yeah, this is the problem. There are two bad matchups. That's Warrior and Reno Lock. Unfortunately, we didn't get our V. Oh, he even has Mulganis. Yeah, then it's over. Uh, unfortunately, we get the Reno Warlock and the Warrior. The two bad matchups for us. Um, yeah, it's sad. But um, I can promise you. And um, if you really want to get some good knowledge of the deck. I would really advise you to maybe look at my stream once. The deck was super... Um, it did super well for me uh, on the ladder. I streamed it for... I went Legend for in 14 hours. Um, I would say look it up once on the stream if you're really interested in this deck. We went into the two bad matchups. I can promise you guys this is a really good deck if you want to try it once. It's a really good deck to ladder with. And uh, thank you for watching.